Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use a Unix Unix version in TK Solver 5.0. We'll use a simple example to introduce the uh, concept. We'll say area equal length times width. We enter that rule into the uh, TK Solver rule sheet. The variables appear. Notice that at this point there are no units assigned to uh, any of the variables and also the unit sheet is empty. Uh, your initial entry for any of these variables assigns both the calculation and display unit. And the easiest way to see this is by opening a variable subsheet. You see that there are two entries here in the subsheet. When I make a single entry on the variable sheet itself, two entries are made on the subsheet. So we have a calculation unit and a display unit. The calculation unit corresponds with the units that will be used as the equations are solved. The display unit is a, a post-processing calculation. If the display unit is different from the calculation unit, there will be a calculation done uh, to convert between those two. So for example, if I change the length to millimeter, we see that the calculation unit remains the same in the subsheet, and the display unit changes. We go to the unit sheet, and we can assign the conversion factors here. We could say that go from inches to millimeters, we multiply by 25.4. You could put as many in here as you want. The limit is 32,000 entries here. I'll put in a second one. I'll say that to go from feet to inches and multiply by These are chained. So because we told it that uh, we know how to go from inches to millimeters and feet to inches, uh, TK automatically now knows how to go from feet to millimeters. You see, as I made that entry, it automatically placed the value there. This entry would not be necessary. I just uh, was using this to show that it does know how to, to make that conversion. Now, these are just text strings, by the way. Uh, they are case sensitive, so uh, the fact that we have lowercase inch, lowercase millimeter, uh, that's the way it would need to be entered in the variable sheet as well. Another note, uh, rather than having to enter these, you can go to the TK Solver library, go to the utilities folder, and you'll find there a units and conversions section. If you pull in an aerospace engineering or a mechanical engineering or electronics, you'll have a pre-made unit sheet set up for that. You can merge that. So now the unit sheet is filled with unit conversions. Uh, another uh, way of creating unit conversions in your unit sheet is uh, uh, one category at a time. So you can go to the wizards menu, select units import, and you get a grid of all the different types of uh, unit conversion factors. So if you would like, for example, a uh, a set of unit conversions for area. You're now given a selection here. What I frequently do is just click to select all. So all the unit conversion factors possible, all the different combinations uh, uh, will be exported in. We see that it happened now. So you have a lot of variety as to how you can get these in. Uh, once you have a, a unit sheet made that you like, you can store it away separately. You can say File, Save Window, and then save it to a, uh, a particular file name where you can merge that in anytime you want. So if you've taken the time to create your own unit sheet, you can store that in a separate window away. We'll close that.
Some other issues related to units, the uh, dimensions and the different variables involved in the rule, uh, they're implied. TK Solver does not do any dimension checking. So at this point, I will keep things consistent. I'll say that the width also in inches calculated and the area is in square inches. Now, remember I said that this is uh, a string of characters here. So the fact that it has an inch column, uh, that doesn't do any uh, uh, arithmetic or anything like that related to units. When we look at the unit sheet, we still had to have those specified separately. So now, if we have a length of 10 millimeters and a width of one inch. When we solve, we see that it's calculated in square inches. Change this to feet. So we have uh, the width in feet, the length displayed in millimeters, and the area displayed in square inches. Back solving still works the same way. So if I say, well, I, I really need the area to be 0.25 square inches, and I want to know what the length should be in millimeters, it computes it. All this and uh, the rules stay the same. We didn't have to add unit conversion factors into the rule. Uh, keeps the rule sheet very simple, and the unit sheet is where the conversions are defined. Lists can also have units. So if we associate a list with this variable, at the point that we assign a list and associated it with this variable, TK created a list on the list sheet. If we look at that now, we see that it was assigned the same calculation unit and split unit as the associated variable. So if I enter a value here of uh, 0.02 for this list element, this list element, it's displayed in feet. If I change the display unit to millimeter, it now changes that value. It's calculated in inch, displayed in millimeter. Also important to notice. The variable on the variable sheet can have a display unit that is different from the associated list. So the only time that they are linked together and synchronized is initially, when you initially associate the list with that variable. From that point on, they can work independently. It's very important so that the calculation units remain the same. Uh, because they are still associated with the, the same rule on the rule sheet. That ends this uh, tutorial on units in TK Solve.